Howdy folks, Sahira here, and I am here today to bring you another Zill review. I'm super excited today because we're gonna be reviewing my absolute favoriteest Zills of all time. Totally absolute favoriteest Zills of all time. I am talking about my Saroyan Afghanis in brass. I love these Zills. I've had these Zills probably for 12, 13 years now. I have replaced the elastic on them at least half a dozen times. I have dropped them, I have stepped on them, I have lost them, I have left them in my car when I shouldn't have, and they are still going, and they're still in tune. Like, it's pretty spectacular. These are my go-to zills for acapella zill work, always. I use these first, these and my Afghanis in silver, or sometimes both at the same time, right? I really, really like their tonality. They're a little bit lower on the scale, and I like the slightly mellower tone in general appeals to me. And I really like that they are a bit I guess flatter in tone, which sounds like a negative, but I mean it as a positive. They don't ring quite as long as some of my other Zills. They taper out a little faster, maybe because of the size of the bell, and I find that that keeps my acapella Zill work sounding pretty clean. You can really hear each individual stroke as opposed to some of my other Zills when they're very ringy. Sometimes it can, it can be a little bit too sonorous, right? So these have a fairly small bell, which is maybe why they don't ring quite as much. They're a really nice size. The diameter is a little bit on the larger size, but even though it is in the larger end of the family, I can easily fit them in my teeny tiny hands. They're very easy to maneuver between different sounds, right? That's easy to bring them in, switch to a tick, open to a ring, use them for a clack. All of it feels really good. Because of their size, I feel like they're a little bit thinner and not nearly as heavy as some of my other Zills, so they're very fast to maneuver. They're very easy to bring together, and I feel like even though they are a slightly larger Zill, they don't weigh very much, so they're very fast to work with, even if you're a more beginner Ziller looking for something kind of lightweight and small. These are not a bad option, though they are not small. <laughs> They're fairly lightweight. And I actually think that maybe they might be the Zill that is featured on my Keep Calm and Zill On shirt, almost to size. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, so these uh, in, in brass, like I said, are the ones I use most often when I'm on a stage and everyone is listening to just my Zills. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so check this out. Here's your basic stroke. Ticks, clacks, and rings. So you hear what I'm talking about? They're really clean. They ring. They continue to ring, but they don't ring like forever and ever and ever, right? Which I, I actually like for certain applications. Um, the design of the Zill itself, like the actual design on the Zill, is fairly simple. It has the Saroyan name along the edge, it has a few stars, and some Arabic writing, which I actually have never asked what that says. If it maybe says Afghanis, I'll have to ask. When I first got these, I have to admit, I love my Afghanis in silver and I adore the pattern on those, so I almost had hoped that these would have the same pattern on it, but I got over it pretty quickly when I heard what they sounded like. Really, I try to come up with a pro and con for everything, um, this one for me, like these zills have no cons. Maybe if you do like a higher pitch zill, a more angelic sounding zill, um, this is this is not going to be it. Uh, but I really, I think I think they're awesome. So I think a video with sound is worth a bazillion words. So let's just go for it. Here they are, my Afghanis by Saroyan in brass. <laughs> 